The white cell count is quite variable and it is a not very specific test. The range is from 5000 to 30,000. The normal labor process itself may cause the cell count to go up. And I mentioned the impact of the nucleated RBCs in your count as well. So always wait for the manual count to confirm. In a premature baby, the count is slightly on the lower side compared to the term babies where it can go up to 26 to 30,000. It has a limited value in diagnosing infection because of the non-specific nature as any stress can cause the white cell response. A very low white cell count may be more concerning than the high white cell count. The differential count where you look at neutrophils, monocytes, lymphocytes, basophils and eosinophils may give us some clue to certain conditions. The neutrophils are the most important component when it comes to uh, your immunity and uh, fighting infections. So the absolute neutrophil count is a very important parameter and uh, you have to look at the segmented neutrophils as well. A neutrophil count of less than 1500 is low and less than 500 is very low and both may be suggestive of the risk of sepsis. So you may have a lower threshold to treat if less than 500 and if the count is less than 200 and the baby is symptomatic, you might consider uh, neoposin or similar uh, agents. Many growing premature babies may have relatively low absolute neutrophil count around the time of discharge. So it's often seen when you do the final blood count that the neutrophil count is on the lower side, say 200, 300 and babies relatively well. So you need to advise the parents to monitor for risks of infection and uh, keep a low threshold to admit them if there is a concern and continue to repeat it weekly till it starts increasing. Most of the time it tends to resolve on its own. Uh, the immature neutrophils have a C-shaped nucleus which is not segmented and these are called the band cells and when the baby has an acute uh, exposure to infection the band cells are released from the bone marrow uh, this is called a left shift and the ratio of immature to total neutrophils can guide the risk of infection so 0 to 0 0.2 is normal 0 to uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.25 is suggestive of infection the higher the immature cell count goes the higher the risk of infection and possibly poorer the prognosis. We have Munro's chart and Mazinho's chart for the very low birth weight babies for looking at the absolute neutrophil count uh, in babies in the immediate postnatal period. So you can see that there's a surge in the neutrophil count which then drops and settles down by day two to three. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we cannot rely too much on these counts and you need to correct for the age of the baby when you are looking at the actual counts.